Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video with your host Spoonie Peters. Today we're going to be looking at how to import a custom kit. So you're going to be able to create your own kit and then import it into the PS4. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So here's uh, one I created earlier, which I'll be importing as the demonstration. But I'm just going to show you how to use this website here. So it's pezmaster.com. Um, so just type into Google Pezmaster uh, kit creator will be fine and you should be able to find a link. So let me just show you here, Pezmaster. Uh, just call it kit maker for example. You should find it right at the top, Pez 2020 kit creator. Okay, so then what you're given then is a base template. So you can change the template up here. So you can sort of find the design. You can fine tune it later on, so you don't need to worry about it too much. But pick a base design that you really like the look of. So you could just go for, um, I don't know, one that looks like this. Okay. And then you've got down here the different types of colors. So you can change the cut, the base color, change the black maybe. Um, you know, you can, you can mess around with this, how it... And, as you choose okay so you can see it says over there what it's going to affect uh, so that's the left sleeve if you don't want to display it if you don't you know this one this side hasn't got a sleep um the left sleeve sleeve panel so you can just click this i button and it just hides it from sight okay so that's the shirt then you can click on the shorts, you can do the shorts as well and change the color of those. And if you want to see the whole whole lot, you can just click on this button over here, full, so you can see how it looks. You can sort of spin it around by holding the left mouse button. So it's really easy to use. Um, do the socks as well. Okay, I'm just, you know, just doing this for example. I'm not going to make anything too flashy because I'm trying to hold the mic in one hand and uh, use the mouse in the other. So. Then you want to just use the, um, if you want a logo, um, you can upload your images. So you can just, you know, I could upload, you know, one of these. You know, you can create it in, uh, you know, paint.net or something like that. And pop your image in there. Um, you can also change the color of the brand. So obviously this is a Nike, so you can change the color of the tick so you can see actually see it if it's a black black logo on a black shirt you're not going to see it so and same for down on the shorts so okay and same for the socks as well um the last is the graphics this really allows you to really tweak in some of these you can just have to sort of tick and untick and see what you like like in tick checkers there's different types of checkers for example um, if I go further down, they've got some, you know, England um, 18 pre-match. So you could, you know, apply that. Again, you can change the colors to, to suit it how you want. Okay. And they've got tons tons of options down here, honestly. Like, you can even have flowers <laughs> if you want, you know. Uh, there you go. So yeah, there's there's so many um, different types of stuff down here that you can you can play around with gradients for the shorts. So you can have you know if you just want a little bit of a gradient to it, or a half gradient or a half tone. So there's like I said, there's tons of options here. So once you've finished down doing your um, your kit, all you need to do is click download texture. Okay, so that's going to pop up down here. And if I click on that texture, if you've got paint.net or something like that, you'll see it puts it into this format already for me, ready to import. So what we need to do is we need to grab a USB stick and pop it into your drive. Okay, so once you pop your USB stick in to your PC, it may open up the folder. If not, just make sure you select your USB stick down here. Then on your USB stick, make sure you got a WEPES folder like I have here. What I would recommend is if you have got, um, you know, Pez Universe files or option files on there, delete them out. Otherwise, it's going to be making it really hard for you guys 
to find your kits. Okay, now we're going to go to the downloads folder and select our kits that we've designed. Copy those and pop them onto your USB stick in the WEPS folder. It's important that you put them in there, otherwise you're not going to see them. Okay, once that's all done, we can safely eject our USB stick and transfer it to the PS4. Okay, so once you're on your PS4 um, and you've got your, play, uh, your USB stick inserted, um, I had to insert my USB stick in the back because it's quite fat on my PS4 Pro. So once you've done that, just go across the settings, then go into edit. Then we're going to go down to import export. Go down to import images. Press OK. Strip L. Click on your USB stick and here's our new images. So I'm going to import those four and click OK. Okay, so we've just imported those images into PES. Now what we need to do is go to Teams. Now you want to find a team that's not being used. Take over this team here. And what we're going to do is paste an image over the top of this with one of my new kits. So they're going to be right at the bottom, so you know, so So I'm going to paste that in there. It's one of my kits. Now we'll do it for the second player as well. Yeah, don't don't worry about telling me how bad my uh, my kit designs are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I was just playing. I think I'll have to go back to the drawing board on some of these. This is my first attempt. <laughs> I think the goalkeepers might, might be my favorite image to import. looking quite luminous <laughs> change that that font as well markings name print make this nice light and green as well there we go and the squad number Happy with that. And there we are, ladies and gents. Hope that helped you. And um, if it did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Just don't forget to save your changes by backing out. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll catch you again in my next video. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.